Hello and welcome to HIT. This will be a 45 minute workout for you today. The theme is heart pumping and pulsing. So you'll have cardio elements, you'll have pulses, which means time under tension and good muscle burn. So be prepared for that. We'll use some weights. So I have about that moderate weight and a set of a little bit lighter weights. Good for you to grab heavier. It's just where my body's at right now. So I encourage you to listen to your body. Please always consult your physician before starting. Um, take different variations or modifications that I give you. And most importantly, let's just have some fun. Feel free to turn on some music on your end and let's get through that warm up. Here we go with jogging in place, or you can march in place, whatever serves your body today. Checking in, and how's your breath? Inhaling through the nose, out through that mouth. You can start to open those arms and cross. Again, if this is more of a, a march in place, you can certainly do that. Chest expansion, squeeze the back muscles. We'll keep those arms out to the side. Just warming up those shoulders. I like to think about drawing circles on the side walls. Guys would make them nice and big. Opposite direction. There you go. We'll get lower body, upper body, core, all the things today. All right, bring those arms back to your side. We're taking some butt kicks here. So heels to boots. Give me a nice tall spine. You can also slow it down and work your hamstring curls side to side, opening up the front side of that body. Awesome. Stay with it. From here, our arms and legs are just going to go longer into cross country knees. Three, two, one. So we just switch side to side, like so. Again, if we're slowing this down and still just getting into that warm up, you can be right here. Okay? Foot, foot. Foot, foot. And our thighs are engaged. We're going to work those knee pulls. So now the knees are going to come, legs are going to come forward. We're going to warm up that core further. When you're ready, keep those arms overhead. And then we pull, pull, or a march and pull right here. Sometimes we really like to focus on bringing those elbows down to my side. You can cross off the elbow to me or keep it normal. This options. <laughs> Good. A few more. We got squats in place. Four, three, two, one. Good. From here, hip width distance, we squat and stand. Sit back and up. So sit weight in the heels, toes slightly lifted. Excellent work. We like to get that squat form down right off the bat because we will have some squat jumps in there, some pulses, all those things. Good. Give me two more. Then we're going to take opposite hand to foot. Straight leg kicks right here. Straight leg kick. Now we're waking up the back side of that body a little bit further. Pull. You can keep a nice slight bend in that knee, especially if the hamstrings are tight. Depending on what time of day you're doing this at. Maybe you've had a lot of hard workouts already this week. Again, really focus, listen to your body. Good. One more each side. You're going to come together. You're going to step out, take a little twist. You're going to inner thigh, stretch, and then get that nice little twist in there. Opens up the chest once again, side to side. Good. We're just going to do one more each side on this one. Good. Awesome. From here, you're going to step one foot back behind you. Then the hands come up overhead, press the heel down. You'll alternate. Other foot back. Arms overhead, heel comes down. A little more dynamic stretch, but you're opening up the front of the body, the shoulders. Good. We'll just take one more each side and open one more and press. Good. Give yourself some space. Walk it out to your plank position. Right leg to right hand. You can take a twist towards the bent knee. Just a really nice, good dynamic stretch from the front side of that body, the hip flexors. Bring it down. Step back, other side and twist. Good. Bring it down. Plank position. Walk it back. Roll it on up. Jumping jacks to finish that warm up. Jack, jack, jack. Two more seconds. I'm going to explain your first two moves. Four, three, two, and one. Back to shuffle. All right, here comes that pulse. So you're going to go pulse, pulse, squat, jump. You land low, come right back to that pulse. Okay? We're doing four in a row. So you're really focusing on that one move. And then mountain climber, hands plant. Mountain climber here, or you also have high knees as an option for that for the wrist. All right, ready to get started? Here we go. Pulse, pulse, 
hot chocolate, I mean false, false, hot. So as I land, false, false, hop, my knees are still staying in line with the toes. Keep going, I just wanna show this so that your knees don't cave in like this. We're staying in line with the toes. 10 seconds, there's gonna be a lot of warmth in terms of that burning effect in the muscles. Three, two, and one. Nice job, side tap. Just keep the body moving in between because we have three more opportunities to do that same move, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Pulse, pulse hop. Now what if the hop's not for you today? You can do a calf raise, come up, calf raise. Pulse, pulse, calf raise, I'll show you that side. Pulse, pulse, calf raise. Pulse, pulse, calf raise, yep. We're gonna soft landing, shouldn't be able to hear you jump. 10 seconds. Come on, dig in. Three, two, one. Nice job. I'm just gonna add up. You can take those active stretches in between. You got two more of those. Okay, that's what I know, that's that mouth. Prepare, pulse, pulse hop, pulse. Pulse hop. Little pulses. Soft landing. Add that hip width distance apart from my legs. This is hard work here, okay? Things you do hard here in class, man, that's going to serve you when you face hard stuff outside of class, okay? I'm not just focusing on getting stronger physically, but mentally as well. Two, one, rest. Ooh, okay. One more of those. How are you doing? Feel that heart rate bumping? I hope so. Two, one, here we go. Pulse, pulse, hop, pulse, pulse, hop. Or again, calf raise. Pulse, pulse, calf raise. Is your chest still lifted? Can we still see your smile? Go on. Top landing. All the way, 10 seconds. Because we can. Woo. Keep going. All the way. Rest. Good. Transition. Okay. More shoulders and core with mountain climbers. We're also getting that heart rate up. Prepare. Let's go to work. Pull, 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 pull. Again, 30 second interval. A couple things here. Sometimes our shoulders pinch around, press them back down. Really good posture. Reset there. Pull, pull, pull. We have four sets of these total. We can do it. Come on, pull that knee up a little bit higher. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Shoulder rolls in between our grade. Child's pose if you're looking for that. Also really good. Reset. Let's work. Make sure that if you're following along, you're looking up at me here, that you do it from the side versus facing here and looking up there. No good through your neck, okay? Not only do we do the movements that we need alignment, but when we're looking for cues, look to the side. Pull, 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 10 seconds. Breathe. Final. Keep going. Two, one, relax. Good, we got two more rounds. I'm nursing a little bit of a shoulder <laughs> injury a bit. So I'm gonna do high knees for the next one just to give my shoulder a rest. Ready, let's go. Mountain climbers or high knees is a really great option. Good standing, takes press off the shoulders and the wrist. So you're still getting that cardio element and the core because you're pulling those knees up, up. It's in a vertical position, right? Stay with it. Inhale, exhale, up, 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 up. Keep going. Keep fighting. Rest. Nice job. How long do we got left? One more 30 seconds. You're done with the first block. There's six total blocks today. Okay, so I want you to know that. So you know how to prepare. Let's go. Prepare and pace yourself. Up, up, pull, pull, pull. Maybe we're picking up that tempo this time. Maybe you decided, okay, I'm gonna keep working, but I need to slow it down a bit. And so when you feel good there, you pick it up. And off that chest, we're gonna have to hang that head. 
Okay, not gonna lie, but that's fine. Give it another 10 seconds. Push it, recovery's coming. Three, two, one. Woo. Awesome job. Okay, I promise you heart pump in there. Grab a drink, sips of water, okay? From here, we're gonna go into a chest. Chest press, but it's not weighted or strength. It's still cardio. So think about it like if you had a medicine ball, okay? You pass, pass. There's one tiny side. So pass, pass, two slam jumps, okay? Again, you don't have to come up that, off that floor. It can be a count phrase. You're also going to pair that with four heel taps and then one, two, three, four, step other side. Now that's too complicated. You can just do heel taps each side. Pass, pass first. Pass, pass, slam and jump, slam and jump. Again, we're working on this first for four rounds. So just focus on this. I'll lead you to those heel taps next. Now, you don't actually have a ball, right? But I want you to pretend like you do, okay? Put effort and force behind that pass. If you're pushing to resistance, push, push. Be mindful if you're on carpet and pivoting. Two, one, rest. Yes? Okay, yep, like push, like step and push into it, okay? Because you are powerful. Let's go. Push, push, slam, slam, push, push. Get up off that floor, slam, slam, push, push. Or calf raise, slam, calf raise, slam, yes. I need you to be big. Take up space. Please don't play small here, okay? We have 45 minutes together. Let's make the most of it. Three, two, and one. All the way through that countdown, okay? If you hear two and you stop, all right, check yourself, okay? Check up from the back up. Could I do more? Could I go all the way through? Let's do it. Push, push, slam, slam. If you quit early here, what else are you gonna quit early on, right? Push, push, slam. 15 seconds, come on, halfway. Slam it down, all the way. Push, push, slam, slam. Still getting that height, push, push, slam. Two, one, rest, nice job. We got one more of those, then we'll switch up that movement, okay? Inhale, exhale, let's start this day. You always have your sides that you go to, right? Let's go. Push, push, slam it down, slam it down. Got extra stress that you got right now? Are you hanging on to something somebody said or stressful deadline that you got to meet? Take it here. This is a healthy way to let go of some of that stress that doesn't serve you. Push, push, slam. Slam and rest. Awesome job. So, like I said, you can alternate your heel taps. Otherwise, you're always going to do four heel taps to one side. One, two, three, four. I step and then I go to the other side. That makes sense. Ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Step other side. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Step other side. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, step, other side, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, step, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, step, stop. Step and stop, nice job. Okay, so that's that. And if you're like, mm, no thanks, I'll turn it side to side, okay? Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, step, one, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're on your own. Come on, let's push it. Get those knees up. And our thighs are working. Heart's working. Great cardio movement right here. Could you take it slower? Yep. Step, 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 and rest. Good job. Yeah, so you can do your taps here. You can add a little hop in between when you're doing that one, two, three, four. All right, two more sides or two more sections. Cycles left. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Other side. So I just did a little bit slower there for you. That messed you up. Just go to your beat. 
Good. Exhale. Run, you're capable. You gotta work it. You gotta put that work in right here. Final seconds. I need to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Nice job. All right. Last 30 seconds. And then we move on, right? So we'll have two blocks done already. Inhale, exhale, prepare. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, step, four, three. You pick up your tempo. Safely, that is. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. You gotta think about it, right? An element of some mental fitness in there. All the way. A few more seconds. Earn it. Recovery's coming. Rest. Good job. Walk it around. Whew. All right. Here's my fist bump to you. Two down. Okay, next. This is more cardio in the first half of this workout, and then we'll get into more pauses, okay? So this first one, you're just going to jab, okay? Then you're just going to uppercut. Then we're gonna put the two together for the second two cycles of this first four. So jab, jab. <laughs> Did I do the yes? Uppercut. Okay. Jab, jab, uppercut. Yeah, that's what you'll do. Second one, second four cycles is burpee. But let's just focus on the punches. Ready? Just jabs. Jab, jab, jab. Find your target and hit it. Again, great. Really time to release any tension that you're holding. On to any negative thoughts that just don't deserve space in your mind, okay? Sometimes like emotions do have a purpose, but if they're holding you back, let's just let them go, okay? And rest. Good. Now just focus on the uppercuts. So right from the hip, okay? I'm pivoting. You can pivot on the back feet. You can stay in place and just shoot from the hip and elbow them together. Let's go. Uppercut, uppercut. Get some good bicep work in here. Again, hit that target. Hit it, hit it. All the way. We got 15 seconds. Come on, is that all you got? Let's go. Pump it out. Final seconds. Two, one. Press. Good. Now, put the two together. Jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Okay? Yeah, that doesn't serve you. You can do one more round of each. All right, let's go. Jab, jab, uppercut. You lead with one arm, which you naturally do. We'll try to lead with the other arm that next round. You're holding that side squat here, so the legs are still working. Your core, okay? Belly bump holds out spine. Hide that little back, 10 seconds. Come on, go for it. Don't hold back. Two, one, rest. What do say? One more 30 seconds, we'll move on to burpee. Inhale, exhale, and let's go. Jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Third, with that other, same arm again. So I just switched it. Jab, jab, upper, uppercut. Come on, dig in. Can you match it? I'm right by you, okay? We're not doing this alone. We are in it together. So just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, burpee. Hands plant, hopper step back, hop into the top, or lunge, lunge, the hop. 30 seconds, let's go to work. Hands plant, hop, in, up to the top, or back, back, and in. Hop, or lunge, lunge, hop. Lots of options. What feels right to you? Okay, now what you think you should be doing, what you want to do right here. What can you put your best effort into? Three, two, one, put your best effort into with your best form. I need you to get the most out of that movement, okay? If you're going, one of those options, here we go, 30 seconds. 
Now you're not able to maintain proper form. That's not helping you, okay? I want you to feel successful leaving class today, okay? You always have somewhere to improve. You don't have to be your best right here, okay? It's okay to need to improve. It's a gift to grow, okay? And breath. Oh, guess what? Put those down, which just means we have two left. Take 30 seconds at a time, a minute total of left in this block. Here we go. Or you don't have to hop at the top. You know it. Calf raise. Alignment. We step back, just like you're playing. Shoulders should be right over those wrists. Hop or step in. Hop up. Or step in. And up. Two more seconds. Come on. I'll play three, two, one. All right. Lower down back. Last set. Are you feeling that challenge in your heart? Putting good stress on that heart right here? Let's go. Choose some courage today, okay? If courage means you try to get a couple more reps in than usually you would, awesome. If it means picking up a heavier weight, or maybe it means not picking up the heaviest weight, okay? Choose courage. A few more seconds. Two and rest. Guess what? You're halfway through your workout. All right. Steps. Here's where weights come in <clears throat> and some holds and some pulses. So you can hold two weights, you can hold one weight. Okay, I'm going to be mindful of my shoulder here. All right. So for this first one, you're in that lunge, okay? You're going to pulse, pulse, extend. Pulse, pulse, extend, okay? <clears throat> we'll start there because you're gonna do lunges on the other side of the biceps. Three, two, one, let's work. Pulse, pulse, just like an arm. Or you can stay in this pulse the entire time. You can just pulse the triceps and hold the lunge, okay? There's a lot of different options here. Pulse, pulse, extend. Pulse, pulse, extend. Knee over the ankle. Woo! Pulse, pulse, extend. Pulse. Make sure not to arch the back as you extend. Pulse, pulse, rest. Stick it out. You're going to still stay on that leg for these first, well, you have three more rounds left, okay? Stay with the same move for triceps with the pulses. Here we go. Pulse, pulse. Extend, pulse, pulse, extend. There again, more time under tension and you're pulsing and you can stay here without the extension. What do you need? You can just hold the lunge and pulse or again, add in that extension. Pulse, pulse, 10 seconds left. Pulse, pulse, extend, pulse, pulse, extend. Feel it and rest. Now just change it slightly. At least three pulses to a knee drive, so you're challenging balance. Three, two, one, knee drive extend, okay? Same line, pulse, 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 extend, yep. Pulse, 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 knee drive, pulse, 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 step, then extend, so you can break it down how you need to. Pulse, two, three, extend, pulse, two, three, extend, pulse, two, three, extend, one more, pulse, two, relax, yep, we got one more of those, <clears throat> all right, tell you to listen to your body, I gotta listen to mine, same leg, same move, ready, here we go, pulse, two, three, extend, and knee, Put this side here, pulse, two, three, knee lift extension, pulse, two, Three, extend. This is a compound movement. Okay, so your heart rate's getting up there. Got that time under tension with the balance. 10 seconds. Pulse, two, three, extend. Pulse, two, 
breath. So now we switch sides, the move changes with biceps. So <clears throat> other leg forward, and you're working on your bicep, hold with this one. So lunge, pulse, 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 ha, uh -huh. yep. And then again, arms are at 90. Try not to rest your elbows on your sides like they're helping you. You're just, you're just at your side. Good, where's your shoulders? Not hiked up to your ears, right? Press them down. You can take those posture breaks whenever you need to, but you know what? You're under 10 seconds already. Stay with it. Two, one, rest. Whew. All right, another one of those. You got it. Same leg forward. Again, in order to do my best with that form, I'm adjusting those weights. False, false, false. Hold that 90. You can do hard things. This is hard. How's your breath doing? Okay. Your muscles love oxygen. They need it. So please breathe through it. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Woo. Okay. Same thing. Arms are at 90, but now you add that three pulse to knees. We're still going to keep that the same from the triceps. Let's just bicep hold. Pulse, two, three, knee drive. Pulse, two, three, knee drive. So just has that element of core work, of balance. Again, can you take extra steps? Pulse, two, three, tap, lift. Yes. Pulse, two, three, tap, lift. Or one fluid motion. Pulse, two, three, rest. Oh, your bicep speaking to you. <laughs> Mine sure are. Floors out and back. I'm going to show from the side. Ready? Here we go. Pulse, two, three, knee lift. Set it back. Pulse, two, three, or tap, knee. Step back. Pulse, two, three, knee lift. So this could be a fluid motion for you or you're going from one to the other. Or you're taking those steps in between to guarantee that you got that alignment in there. Because that's what we're really looking for, right? This is your last set for your recovery. Three, two, one, done. Woo, okay. That one's out of the way, which means we only have two left, okay? Stay with me. Squat. So with this one, <clears throat> we're going right to the pulses, uh, three pulses. So it's going to go three, two, one, knee lift, press. There we go. And then curtsy, three, two, one, press, and then come back down to the squat. Okay. Prepare. We still got some 10. Inhale so it knows. Out that mouth. Pretty. And let's work. Pulse. Two, three, press, knee lift. With control, bring it back down to your chest. Curtsy. Two, three, press. Now bring it fluid together. Pulse. Two, three, press. Step back. Pulse. Two, three, press. Pulse. Two, three. Press, exhale, repair. Let's go to work. Pulse, two, oops, press. I started with the curtsy. Pulse, two, three, press. 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 Pulse, two, Three, tap or press, pulse, two, rest. Okay, now you see you have one weight. We're gonna go up to the curtsy, three pulses to a knee drive. Okay, so you're still on that same leg. Ready, here we go. Pulse, two, three, pull. Pulse, two, three, pull. Or pulse, two, three, step, pull. Yep, pulse, two, Three, pull. What if you're like, Jane, I've had enough of the curtsies? You can work up pulse, two, three, extend. A little less of those legs, okay? Keep going. Three, two, one, extend. Or crunch. 
Same thing on that side. And then we'll do it all over on the other side. Inhale, exhale. Let's get ready. Go to work. Pause. Three. Crunch. Pause. Two. Three. Crunch. Could you do this without weight? Absolutely. Pulse. Two. Three. Crunch. Pulse. 15 seconds. Come on. Crunch. Pulse. Two. Three. Crunch. Pulse. Two. Three. Crunch. Final seconds. Pulse. Two. Three. Crunch. Rest. Whew. Okay. You know what to expect. Maybe not just because one side can be dramatically different from the other. But you have an idea. <laughs> All right, pulses and squat. Pulse, two, three, knee drive press, step back. Pulse, two, three, press, reset. Pulse, two, three, press, reset down. Pulse, okay, those are some extra steps in between. What if you do it fluid, one from the other? Pulse, two, three, press, come down. Pulse, two, three, Press, I'm gonna show from that side view. Pulse, two, three, rest. I'll say it. <clears throat> One more round like that, okay? Keeps me honest with my range of motion too. Ready, here we go. Pulse, two, three, press, come back. Pulse, see how that knee is right over that ankle? And press. Pulse, two, three, press. Pulse, two, three, Knee. I'm gonna do less with the shoulders right now. Two, three, knee. You can keep those weights at your side if you just want more body, lower body. Pulse, two, three, knee, and rest. Nice job. <clears throat> just working with that curtsy. You got two more cycles in the set. <sighs> yes. Ten. All right. Prepare. Other side. Pulse, two, three, oblique crunch. Pulse, two, three, crunch. Where's those extra steps? Pulse, two, three, step, crunch. Pulse, two, three, step, crunch. Pulse, two, three, or you're just working. That crunch, two, three, extend, rest. Nice job. Always giving those options for you. Inhale, exhale. Guess what? Last 30 seconds in this set. We have one more to get to. All right, here we go. Pulse, two, three. It's like a little rainbow up and over. We're going to experience those in our next set a little bit further. Really going to target those obliques. Pulse, two, three. Extend or no weight. Always an option. Pulse, two, three. Crunch, set. Pulse, two, three. Step, crunch. Can you go all the way through that countdown right here? Pulse, two, three, done. Nice job. Have a drink. Okay, this next one. We're focusing on the obliques, but there is legs with it if you're holding the squat. So let me explain. First four, you're in a wide squat. So we've done a lot of hip width distance. You're going to come into that squat hold. Now I'm going to not lie to you, okay? I'm going to be. Transparent. I'm not gonna get all the way down here, okay? I'm just getting into that spot here. And then we go pulse, two, three, center, and I'm gonna alternate those. That's our first four. Let's just focus there. Prepare heels and toes out. A little bend in those knees. Here we go. Pulse, two, three, center. Pulse, two, three. What if the pulse doesn't serve you? You can go side to side here, okay? If overhead is a little bit tough. You can go here and center. You can even, what I've done too is lead with the elbows and center. You know that lever length just changes a bit, especially if you feel that in your low back from having the weight overhead and rest. Uh-huh, okay. Otherwise, again, another option is you can do some standing crunches side to side and still get the same oblique muscles working. All right, prepare, here we go. Pulse, two, three, center. Pulse, two, three, center. Pulse, two, three, center. Pulse, two, three, center. Or pulse, two, three, center. Pulse, two, 
three, you're under 10, stay in it. Pulse, two, three, thunder, pulse, two, three, relax. Oh, I needed that. Now, you can sit pauses if you like. I have planned for singles. So side, center, side, center. When I showed you the pauses were working, we're all going there. If you're ready for it, let's go. Side, center, side, center. So again, chest, a little bit harder. Overhead. Woo. Yeah, that is. That is effective. Come on. Side, center, side, center. You know what? You got 10 seconds left. Could you sink a little bit deeper into that squat? I bet you could. You never know what you're capable of until you try. Woo, rest. <laughs> oh, a little stretch feels good. You ready? Come on, we got it. Hold on. Finish strong. Side center. Side center. This just means we're finishing this movement strong. We got four cycles after this. Okay. We can do hard things. I gotta remind myself of that a lot. Whew. I had to take that posture break. No shame in that. That means I can do the movement effectively without, you know, recruiting a muscle that doesn't need to be in on it. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Last one. Plank position. Three pulses. Here we go. Three, two, one. Kick back and fly. Or the three, two, one. Kick back. Let's go. Three. Two, one, kick and fly. Three, two, one, or extend. What if you're on the knees? Three, two, one, extend back. Three, two, one, extend. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. The flying is actually kind of fun. Okay, shoulders over those wrists. Pull. Two, three, extend. Pull. Two, rest. Okay. Same knee. If the plane position isn't serving you, you're gonna go three, two, one, kick back. Pulse, two, three, kick. Let's do it. Pulse, two, three, kick. Pulse, two, three, kick. Or here, pulse, two, three, kick. Your glutes are working right here with your obliques, with your core. We got 10 seconds. Could you try on those toes? Pulse, two, three. With those pulses, could you pull a little bit higher into your chest? And rest. We get to do that other side. 30 seconds apiece. One minute left to work, and we are stretching it. Let's go. Here we go. Pulse, two, three. Get back. Pulse, two, three. Kick. Pulse, two. I find this to be a very Powering move. <laughs> I don't know why, but it feels really good. If you're not there yet, you got some place to go, right? Pulse, two, three, kick back. Pulse, two, three, kick back. Where's that courage? Pulse, two, three, kick, relax. We got 30 seconds to bring it to finish strong. Start strong and stronger. Let's go. Pulse, two, three, kick. Pulse, two, three, or extend. Pulse, two, three. Turn off that chest. Try not to look back at your legs. Everything's in alignment. Knee over the ankle. Two, three, 10 seconds left. I'm going for it. You with me? Pulse, two, three, kick. Pulse. Two, three, we're done. Woo! This is my high five to you. Excellent effort. Love that drink with close. Stay on the mat for me here. Woo! Okay. I know our hip flexors, my hip flexors are tight. I'm going to go into a low lunge first. So Press those out. Okay, so knee over the ankle. Rising up, okay, then white tuck of the pelvis, shift forward, like so. Okay, then from here, I'm gonna press, interlace the fingers, press them away from me, just rounding that upper back. Good, you should feel that stretch right here. We're gonna feel a little bit more. Take those arms up ahead. Maybe you come a little bit more forward, just try not to dip into it. 
from here, you are going to drop the one hand to the outside of that knee. The other is just going to swoop back and do this nice little twist. And all the different angles here to show you. Okay, so here. Paul spine. Mm, twist, feel good. Good, and then bring them to center. Reach, and then bring your hips back. And string, stretch. Good. You feel. Mm. I feel tired, but energized at the same time. Now I put the work in. Come forward. You're going to heel toe your foot to the side to come into a half pigeon stretch. Um, you could also do figure four on your back here, okay? But I just want you to notice those feelings. Okay, they're pretty powerful. <clears throat> no, like movement matters. It matters in your day. One of the affirmations I shared in class was, I am happy, I radiate joy deep inside my soul. And movement does that for me, right? Like the endorphins, it makes me feel good. It makes me happier. So just notice that, honor that, and do more of what brings you joy. Seriously. You can stay lifted here. You can be on your forearms. Breathe. Breath. You should stay here for a lot longer, but we're going to get the other side. So come up into tall arms from here. Take a downward dog. So step that leg back. Stretch out the back of the leg. Shake the head yes and no. And then just the opposite leg comes forward into that low lunge. So now we're on the other side. Instead of coming forward with the arms, we're going to take them back behind you. Press the expansion. Roll those shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale. Very engaged. From here, still bring it up top. Get that full body stretch in the front part of the body. And now, once again, you're going to take the hand, the one hand to the outside of the knee, and then the other arm comes back behind you. Find it. I'll meet you there. Go. Your gaze can come back to that back arm. Maybe it looks to the side or the front. And I use this um, hand here for a little leverage, a little bit deeper twist. It's kind of forced, but you know it's available to you. And then inhale, arms reach. And then exhale, send it back. Lifted here, kind of to let those shoulders round. Be really intentional with that movement. And then from here, we'll bring it forward and then come into that half pigeon on the other side. So I'm just going to like tilt my foot off the side. And then come into that nice deep hip stretch. Staying lifted, maybe this feels good enough for you today. If you need a little bit more, you can come down to those forearms. If you have a block handy, sometimes I'll like just rest my head on it or my forearms. Let's go of that tension. Maybe it's the jaw. Think about that, how you hold tension in your jaw. Inhale, exhale. More breath. Coming up on to tall arms. From here, I just took those toes. I bring it back to the downward facing dog. One more time here. Stretch it out. From here, the feet come off the hands or the hands to the feet. Here, come and step forward, fold. Take opposite elbows and just find a little rag down side to side. Let the arms be heavy here, the head be heavy. So sometimes we naturally hold tension in that. Just let it go. Listen to my voice. I got you. Now we're just going to take a twist here. So you're going to bring the hands to the middle. You're going to bring your right hand below your gaze, left arm up to the side or up to the sky. You're gonna bend through your right knee. So that just gives a little bit more room to take a twist. Good, exhale, bring it down. We'll just switch sides, the left hand below your gaze. Right on up to the sky, left knee bends. Good, exhale, bring it down. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. And then we're gonna take a cleansing breath together. Inhale, reach up, nice and big. And exhale, release. <laughs> So proud of you. Way to put that effort in. Hope you enjoyed that workout. Press that like button and we will.